We got chest freckles and we got Beijing beards. Go like the video. How many years of momentum spams are we gonna have? It, like, like I get it, it's in 2K, but that don't mean it has to be in every 2K. Say what? One year they could get rid of the momentum move and add a new one. What are you talking about? I was with you up until you said some shit like this. I mean, I felt everything else in the video was on point, but this was the hottest take of the whole video, my guy. Look at this. This is one of the best dribbling displays, one of the easiest moves to do. I mean, if you can't momentum cross, then just say that. Just say that then. But you want them to take out the momentum cross and add what? This old nigga two-step Watusi? I'm not doing that. That's not going to happen. I mean, it's a good-looking little speed boost, but old dude's not getting mo-capped. It's not going to happen. At this point, just let it go. Lead the dribbling to the dribblers. The dribblers know how to dribble for a reason. I mean, you know how to get to the bucket. Get to the cup. Just get there. Do your thing. At the end of the day, 2K players, look, do what works for you. But stop asking for things to be taken out of the game because you don't really understand them. It's not a good look. I don't even think you fully bought into that when you said it. I mean, I seen the look on your face. It kind of looked like you was kind of smirking a little bit. Like, I don't really... I'm going to just say this because it's one of these hot takes. But I'm glad you said this. Shit. Give me a reason to get a video off. No lie. It sparked a hot topic. And it's a lot of things that could be taken out of the game. But it's a lot of things that we just need to leave alone or learn how to use. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hit the like button if you got hair. Even if you don't got no hair. If you want some hair. If you don't want hair. Hit that like button for this video. Like and subscribe. We need to help. Help me. We got hair though. We out here with the hair today. You see it. You seen, bro got the cornrows, he corn rolling. Them cornrows look a little thick. They look, they look kind of puffy, you know, like he didn't just get them done. Okay, here go the OG crop. Is this new? This is supposed to be the top 10 new haircuts, but that don't look new. That joint right here don't look new. Look like we been had that. I mean, it's regular, you know, it's that, that regular joint. I mean, you can't say much about it. It's a regular crop top. It's cropped eight. And I mean, they calling it new. Here go a new long spiked afro. That's that's legit. I probably rock something like that. Bro, look like you know, look like he rocking out. Probably got the the fade on the sides a little bit, but you can't really tell. It's not bad. It's not a bad hairstyle. These player models look nice. This look like an upgrade, low key. Um, not much I can really say about it. Let's see what this one is talking about. We got the puffy ponytail. Puffy ponytail look kind of crazy. They haven't added the physics to it yet, but I mean, it, it go it go rough. It look like it play rough. That's what the kids are rocking these days. That's what they getting down like. So, you know, I can't be mad at it. Let's see what you got going next. What's next up? All right, I like this one. I could see myself rocking the long wavy. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I don't know which player we bringing out this year. We might bring out Pablo Picasso. We might bring back Unk. We don't know who we bringing back from the My Career series, but this will go good if we bring out Pablo Picasso. Because, I mean, it just seemed like it matched with bro. You know, it's, it's the type of hairstyle that fits his aesthetic, so to speak. All right, we got bro name right here with the little Yachty's. The brave, low phase situation. Looking all... He got beads on the end of his joint. I mean, I don't know about this one. I mean, it's new, though. If somebody want to put the Yachty's on, you know, go ahead, throw on the Yachty's and get right. Ain't nothing wrong with the Yachty's. I'm a, I mean, he look goofy as hell, but he got the Yachty's popping, so get with him. We got we got the Wavy. I could throw this joint on. I'm not mad at this one. A little Wavy, you know, uh, kind of like a Jewish little cut type thing. I don't know. What can you call that? Do Jewish dudes, do Jewish dudes rock that? I know they be rocking the fro. I mean, this look like the fro cut down somewhat. He ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. This is like the army cut. He got the, the wacky jacky cut. I don't know if y'all know wacky jacky with the messy spike dude. A lot of dudes, a lot of dudes like this messy spike dude. It's like the chalk, the chalk special. You know what I mean? Uh, look up Wacky Jackie on YouTube. He got the Wacky Jackie spike. You know, it's cool. That's cool right there. What is this? The long dreadlock with the dreadlock hanging down. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't do the dreadlock thing. I, I, I was thinking about getting locks at one point. I ain't, 
I ain't too enthused on having locks, though. I don't know how to manage them. I don't know if I would get them, keep them up. So, yeah. I mean, I do I do the long hair thing, though. You know, I got hair. You know, I just brush it back in a ponytail type thing. But this, this cool. That's a cool look. This here, though, this is weird. This, hold on, Jones. Wait a second. Wait a minute. He's the suspect. Yeah, Buddy Wallin'. Buddy got the Chase Money beard. No, 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 no. Buddy got the Fat Joe hookup. It's something about that Fat Joe hookup. Like, it is probably real, but it don't look authentic. It's just, this is too much. This stubble right here is trippy. I don't know about this, bro. You gotta have to rethink this. They got to go back to the drawing board. Or something's wrong. Something ain't right. There's something not right about bro. Yeah, it's just, I, if I see you in the park with this on, I'm laughing at you. I'm smacking it off your face. All right, and now they're pushing the game entirely too far. They got chest freckles. They got chest hair and everything going on. It's a little bit too much going on. That's that's extra customization that I wasn't expecting. Like, chest hair and chest freckles is... That's what y'all been spending your time on? That's what y'all been doing, 2K? Y'all been putting in eye circles? Y'all want baggy eyes and eye circles for dudes? You really getting, you really getting intricate here. This is what we've been... It's what we've been working on. Y'all talking about waiting until season two for the wreck, but, but this is what we got. Man, we got bags under our eyes, we got chest freckles, and we got Beijing beards. I, I, if it's what y'all want, if this is what the community was asking for, bet that. I mean, I'm just coming with some more food for thought for you artists listening. Here's some topics for your video or maybe some more ideas that you could put out there. And just ring these bells out into the crowd and let these people know when they're making their builds. Every build is going to be platform specific. And what I mean when I say platform specific, depending on what arena you're going to be in, your build is going to fit that arena. If you're going pro-am, comp pro-am, if you're trying to be in tournaments, you're going to have to see what the actual 5v5 meta build is to get the advantage at your position. If you're going threes, there's certain ways you can make your player to benefit you on the threes court. There's going to be a certain player that you can make to benefit you in the 1v1 arena in the stage or in the theater. There's going to be different builds for every situation. If you're playing twos, there's a certain build for twos. So every build is not going to fit the same situation. This year, that's going to be more astounding than ever. You're going to see more diversity between builds on different courts. Now, there is going to be that one build that's kind of like the 6'9". It's going to be kind of like the inside out point guard from last year, but it's not necessarily going to be that. What we're going to see is a situation where we have one build that just may be good enough in each category where it can perform if you have the stick skill for it to prevail on each court or in every situation you want it to be in. I'm not saying you're going to be overpowered. You might not have the badges that it takes to be the beast and the animal that you wish to be, but it will be viable to play in each arena. Now, I don't know if you have the stick skill to do that. That's going to be on you to learn how to play defense and offense to a level where you can rock out and get these buckets and defend against different players when you make that type of build whatever we don't know what it is yet we haven't got the specifics yet and we don't know what the builder is going to be but i just want that to be food for thought for you to know that there's going to be a different build for each situation and we're going to have to figure out what those are when we get our hands on the game Seen what makes you cheer.